how to quickly see what profit margin a job that you've finished has actually made. Because it's all well and good pricing work with profit on, but if you've not tracked it and you're not checking at the very end, what did that job actually do? You don't know where you are with your business and where you're going at. So we need to check this so that you get better at pricing and so that you can actually properly see what profit margin your company is operating at on every single job that you do. Now this is a bit of a man maths, quick, very easy. You don't need to be a genius to know this stuff, but you just need to know the basics in this formula to work out accurate margins once you finish the job. So to quickly do it, you need to know three things. The basic stuff of what the customer's paid you, XVAT, your revenue or your sales figure, whatever way you want to put it. What's the client actually physically paid you, excluding that. You need to know what it, the job costs you. So you've got to track the job cost. You've got to understand, right, if we had a 30 grand job and we got cost of 20K, what, what are the costs to that job? Once the job's all said and done, what did it physically cost you to do? Then you will have your profit figure and then we'll move on to the margins. You need to know, right, the customer's paid us this, we've got cost of this, so we've got a profit of this value. Now to work out the profit margin so you can see the actual true profitability of the job, what you need to do is follow this very simple formula. Profit divided by revenue will give you the accurate margin that that job actually was delivered to. So again, invest 399 on yourself, Mr. Casio, you won't go far wrong, you don't need to be a genius, but you just need to know how to use a calculator, which I think you can push some buttons on here, probably. So, what you do is you take your profit figure. So let's say you had a profit of £2,000 on the job. Once you've worked out your cost, you know that that job's made £2,000. And you know that the customer, for example, just for nice and ease, the customer's paid you £12,000, excluding VAT. You divide the profit by the revenue, and that will equal a margin, and in this case, that £2,000 divided by the £12,000 the customer's paying you will equal a margin of 16.7%. Now, you need to know that figure. This is your leading KPI at the back end of a job because when you price the job, you would have priced it with a certain amount of profit on. Now, let's say you price this job at 25% margin and you thought you were going to make 25% margin, but at the end, you've actually seen that you've made 16%. That's a massive 8 9% swing in profitability what went wrong on that job? You've got to review that job and go, what went wrong? Where did we overspend? What happened? Did we underestimate when we, quote, when we quoted the job? Did we overspend on site? Did we mess things up? You need to know this figure all the time because equally, if you end up making a lot more profit, you might not be very competitive at the tendering stage when you're pricing because you've actually got hidden costs and hidden expense in the jobs and you're messing stuff up so you might not be winning enough quotes that you're actually pricing. You need to know this figure all the time on every job you do. Simple as that. Profit divided by revenue equals your actual margin that you actually made. Bosh.